my window's open and that is just the wind blowing into my room, just whipping around the room. What's going on? We're gonna talk about that today. Hello, everybody. It's your boy, Fatty. And to start with, like I said, we're gonna be starting off talking about this today. The whole story is with this. For those of you who don't know, a long time ago I got my YouTube uh, 100,000 subscriber play button. But I never told you guys the story and I don't show you guys it too much. To start with, the button is damaged. Can't see, there's an indentation there, ton of scuffing, my 100,000 paint is chipping. And that is because when I was homeless, this stayed inside a tote that got moved a lot in the van so that I could make room for like a little dare table and it was for um, moving it around so I could use it as a dinner table and then I would put it towards the back of the van so I could lay down and sleep. You know, a lot of the stuffing came from when I was homeless. But I wanted to talk about the story from before the stuff. Before the clearly needs to be cleaned up because my dumbass doesn't keep this thing as nicely kept up as I should. Um, I don't have a frame for it. I don't have a special spot for it. I literally just keep it in that closet spot that you guys saw in the intro. So, with that being said, I want to talk about the before. Before it became scuffed. Before it became my symbol of strength. And if you guys are hearing that, I have a bag of clothes in the corner of my room that I got to do laundry of. And it is a windy day here in Michigan and I got the window open. If I don't have that window open, it gets warm in here. So there's like a huge fucking airflow, like miniature little air vortex in here. And it feels good, but that's annoying as shit. And I know the bag can hear me because it keeps picking up whenever I get louder than it. I got a way to deal with that. Hold on. Yeah, all it needs is a little weight. Uh, all it needs is a little weight thrown on it. I'm a lazy fuck and I don't want to get up. Kobe! Wow. <laughs> Do I not have anything else in the toss over? I got a slipper. Okay. Kobe! Oh, come the fuck! Okay, I actually have to get up and deal with this. One sec, you guys. See, so, yeah, it looks like we still are going to have some slight flapping of that bag. Uh, what sucks, I'm trying everything right now to try to get it to stop, and it just does not want to fucking stop. I guess Michigan doesn't want to give us a bunch of snow like it typically does, but it definitely wants to give us a shit ton of wind. Basically, to say it's been a very green December out here in Michigan, when typically it is a very cold one. And as a matter of fact, the damage that came from that play button happened during one of our worst winters in history. It was the winter that my mother had passed away. So 2019, 2020 winter. And uh, we were going through a polar vortex. I'll talk about more of that type of stuff in a different video. We're hopping into the play, play button. So I got my play button roughly, I want to say 2017, early 2018 early 2017 to like really early 2018 so like maybe late january uh, tw um 2018 and this would be roughly around the time that i got my first three-wheeler which was a klt by kawasaki it was a klt 200 1983 model um in, anyway um uh, my mother wanted me to go shopping that day. She said, Christopher, I need you to go up to Walmart. I need you to get a, few, get a few things for dinner tonight. And, you know, I just get a few things throughout the week. So I said, okay, I'm going to drive up. And it's a nicer day. It's, uh, for remember, it was like a spring or fall day. I know it wasn't summer or winter because it wasn't fucking unbearably cold or unbearably hot. So it wasn't like I was going to struggle driving up. I remember that it was a very nice ride. A very calm one. Very cool on my face. Very much a, a more early spring, maybe like early fall feel. That being said, 
I was at the store, and if I remember right, I was at the, I think it was the meat section. I was looking to get some chicken for us, and I get a phone call from my mother. And she goes, she is, uh, uh, you know, I answer it, and she immediately just goes, Christopher, 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 it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here. I said, what do you mean? She goes, your YouTube play button, it's here, it's here, you got your award, it's here, it's in the YouTube box and everything. And, and I'll find a screenshot somewhere because I don't have the box board anymore. But I'll try to share a screenshot just somewhere. I mean, Chris, if you're going to put it in, put it in now. And as you guys can see, it's a very basic looking box. Just black and white, says YouTube on it, all that. But my man delivered it. She had a sign for it. And she calls me, freaking out. Christopher, 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 it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Your, your reward is here. She's like a kid at a candy store who's just been told you can eat every freaking thing you want. And in an hour, the toy store we go over to next, you can pick out any toys you want. Like, that was how giddy she was about it. And uh, she was like, Christopher, you got to let me open it. You got to let me open it. You got to let me open it. Because she wanted to open it. And I said, Mom, you've got to calm down. You're going to hurt yourself. And number two, wait for me to get home. I'll be home in like 20 minutes. So, you know, as the trash bag wants to try and become an issue, I ended up saying, yeah, Mom, I'll be home in about 20 to 30 minutes. Just give me a chance to, okay, thank you. The... You know, you don't apologize to a person and then continue to do the very problem, right? <laughs> Either way, um, I said, let me get home. I'll hop on the KLT, get home quick. Hopped on my KLT, sped home. I was in fifth gear the whole time. And I get home and I'm not even gonna like lie. I fucking sped. I was in like a 40 mile an hour zone going 50. I was pushing that thing to its limit. And, uh, you know, I, I, I get home, I pull up, and my mother is, like, already sitting in the garage in her little, like, walker chair. So she comes running up as I'm pulling in. So I have to slam the brake and the foot brake, kill the switch, push it in, throw it in parking gear. And, uh, you know, I, I talk to her for a second. She goes, it's actually, she shows me, and she goes, here's the box. It's actually here. We need to go inside right now and open this. I said, Mom. You really do need to calm down. You're going to hurt yourself. You know about your health issues. Chill. And she goes, okay, let's go inside. I swear, I've never seen this woman act like a child more excited for a toy in her life. I've never seen a woman smile so largely in her life than when I open up that box. When I pull it open... Flipped it open, what do you want to call it? And we saw this slowly get revealed as the box opened up with the bottom. Yes, you could imagine the fucking tears we had. Oh. We cried. <laughs> Um, I don't cry as, as much as I used to these days. I try not to, at least not on screen. Though like, there's been a few times where I have, especially on my live streams over on Twitch. But uh, that was one of my most proudest moments, to be honest. To see her face light up as I'm opening this, more so than mine. More so than mine, her face lit the f up. She was happy. And you want to know why she was happy? Because at the time, 100,000 people had found her son remotely interesting. Had decided that her baby boy was good enough for a following. And because of you guys, I was able to make my mother proud before she passed. If you guys didn't know, 2019, I think it was like September 12th is the exact day. It's the same day as Johnny Cash. That's what I remember. She, uh, she passed away. And I wish you were here to talk about this with me. 
If you're wondering why I chose this angle to kind of do most of the video in, it kind of gives me a feeling that she's kind of there over my shoulder talking about this with me. Because, like... Oh! joy she had seeing it. Uh, God, I don't have tears rolling down, but I definitely got some wet eyes. <sighs> Anyhow, um, I have never seen that woman so fucking proud of my life. Never. The last thing I want to say real quick before I bring this video to an end, because I've been wanting to do this for a while. There's a couple of things I want to touch on. <coughs> oh, man. Number one, I do plan to try and get this button restored. Hopefully within a reasonable time. At least getting the paint restored and cleaning it up a bit. Like I said, I haven't been taking too good of care of it. After I moved into this new place, I just kind of put it up there. I didn't want to touch it because I didn't want to break it, but at the same time, like, I don't think I shared the story of this thing with you guys, and it means a lot. Thank you. Thank you for helping make my mother's last few years amazing. Also, Lou, I appreciate you laying on top of that jazz pack trying to help, but I don't think you're going to be able to do much. <clears throat> Anyhow, um... Just one last time, thank you again for helping make my mother's life a lot better. Did I just say that right? A lot better? I'm tired. I'm sore. I gotta run out later today and get a medical test done. It is just all kinds of fun. <laughs> but thank you. Not just for helping make my mother's life a lot better before she passed, but for giving me the opportunity to live a life that I would have never had otherwise. It's not time to clap yet, Mr. Bag. But thank you. If I hadn't had you guys in my life, I wouldn't have lived such an amazing life and met so many different amazing people. In life, you have to have a goal, my mother used to say. And it could be anything. just really isn't going to be easy to deal with the rest of this video, huh? <laughs> uh, anyhow, no, but th thank you guys for giving me the opportunities that I've had in life that I wouldn't have had otherwise. To anyone I used to hang with back in the day, to any of my ex-relatives, stuff like that, stay safe, everyone. I might be upset with you. Maybe we don't talk much, but it doesn't matter what we are. Whether we're angry at each other or happy with each other. I hope everyone who knows me is staying safe and healthy. And I hope everyone out there is staying safe and healthy. And most importantly, keeping happy. My end goal in life, as I was saying, is simply this. I want to bring smiles to the most faces I can in my lifetime. Be it as an entertainer beard as just someone who is there to talk to someone who needs it or being some random person's jail material <laughs> either way I appreciate the opportunity to help make you guys smile especially during a time where it can be pretty hard to stay safe everyone Let's stay healthy and remember, the world will slowly get better. If I'm not a symbol of it, this right here is. Hopefully over the next month, I'll be able to get this restored. Hopefully. I just don't know how to go about doing it.
my VLC of items know of anything or any services that do that. Or maybe some of you guys happen to know. And if you do, please leave it in the comments. And please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Because that always helps. And, uh, you know, maybe if you don't like the video, leave a dislike and give me a critique. Don't just be a dick and make fun of me, but, you know, if you know of a way that can, can help make these contents a little better. I said contents. I'm about to say videos. Um, I'd love to know. We will have our scheduled videos coming soon. I did not mean for this to be a random video. I was going to do this at a different time. But I've been having some tech difficulties, some editing software. So I want to throw something up for you guys. Quickly. Whew. Gotta fucking remember to breathe. Um, but just something I wanted to put together for you guys to get up. As we are working past some of these tech difficulties. Um, stay safe, everyone. And I hope you all have a good day.